Sharon H here and I have Ella back in the studio this morning and I thought we could discuss things that annoy people. Things that we may even do that annoy people. What you reckon Ella? You think we could come up with some examples for my audience? Mm -hmm. I'm going to kick it off with one thing I find annoying about people. Mm -hmm. Stinginess. Ah, the tight odds of society. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I mean. It's a quality I can't stand. Me either. Tight, tight, tight asses is what they are. Yeah, especially those that will readily take but give nothing in return. Yeah, I wish they'd take a flying leap and not fucking return. What about people who talk behind others' backs? I think as humans we all talk sometimes though. If someone has wronged us or upset us, or they've got a phase only a mother could love, well, they can't really help how they look, Ella. That's not really a good reason. Well, I can't help it that I don't like the way they look, Sharon. It's probably better that we say it behind their back than to their face. Now, that's hurtful. Some things are best left unsaid, full stop. That's it. Telling my uncle's wife that she has a mouth like a baboon's ass with those lip injection things is probably better left unsaid. Yes, we can't say that out loud. So what about being a yes person? Oh, bloody do-gooder. Well, I kind of mean a people pleaser of extreme. So, someone that has their head wedged that far up everyone else's arm. Well, yes, they're often unreasonably very agreeable. Well, then they'd probably agree that they're a brown nose ass kisser, Sharon. Who permanently has their head wedged up another's dupee. <laughs> I find it bloody annoying when people publicly announce they're having a break from Facebook and then they're back bloody five minutes later. It's like, looky here, I'm going, I'm going, I'm really going. Like somebody stop me. Most probably wouldn't bloody notice and the rest probably wouldn't bloody care. I mean, just piss off or get off the Facebook pot, peoples. Oh, pushy sales people. Now this I cannot stand. Does my head in? Like, do they think I'm gonna rack off with their goods? I know, right, I guess it's their job and the pressure is probably on. Yeah, me, to part with me cash. I mean, I like to browse without them breathing down my neck, demanding to know what I'm there for. You, you know what I mean? What they think I'm there for, to get me ass bleached? Jesus. Chewing loudly and talking with their mouth full. No need for it, right? Like, get some manners. Um, don't be a bloody flop. <laughs> I rest my face. And what about the people that lick their fingers when sharing food? Ah, oh, gross. Guess you won't be wanting a chip then, Sharon. <laughs> And what about when rude bastards message you using all caps? Oh, I used to always type in capitals. I never knew it was considered aggressive. For God's sake, calm your farm woman and stop fucking yelling at people. One thing that really does irritate me is humble bragging. I know, it's deplorable. Yeah, I kind of find the subtle self-boasting Bit off pudding. I know, right? I just let peoples know up front that I'm queen shit of Turd Island. There's none of this humble bullshit. I got the people that stand in the middle and not to one side of the escalator. Inconsiderates, that's what they are. <laughs> oh, what do they think? This is Luna fucking Park and they're on a ride, Sharon. <laughs> what about not holding the door for the person behind you? Now that's rude. <laughs> No, screw that. What do you think I'm the fucking doorman of the Park Hyatt Sydney, Sharon? What's with some people always talking about how busy they are? Oh, it's really them telling you how much more important they are. We all get the same 24 hours. We all have lives and loads to do. Pod simply, Sharon. Prick simply can't time manage. Pure and bloody simple. And what about people tapping their feet or fingers? Mm, amongst other things, people just 
have no considerations for others, Sharon. I mean, none at all. I swear I'm chief toilet paper. I swear I'm chief toilet paper replacer in my house. They leave like one little square on the roll. Yeah, it's the same in my house. I mean, what's with that? Who's going to be able to wipe their ass, your mother, for sixpence with that? I don't know about you, but during the great toilet paper drought of 2021, if my kids even left one measly sheet on the toilet roll, I was like, bless you, child. Bless you. Oh, and people that blow their nose at the table. I know, the dirty, dirty bastards. There's, there's just no need for that. Like, none at all. And sniffing. Appalling behaviours. Telling someone a story and they make it all about them. I know, right? Did I tell you how that keeps happening to me? Really? Oh, I just... Can't. I mean, I see your point, Sharon, but you would not believe the amount of times that happens to me. What about those forever posting vague status updates on social media? Well, I know. Do they think we are just good guesses? I think it's more about attention than anything. <laughs> Wanting people to ask what's going on. I know. <laughs> and then they write, I'll message you. <laughs> I hate that. No, you won't. I mean, don't be messaging me with your bullshit, you attention-seeking twat. People cutting you off in traffic, they drive me insane. Oh, I know. This car was driving slowly in front of me again on the way here. End. Well, I sped up, overtook them, and quickly pulled in front of them. That's what I'm talking about, Ella. I know, right? I had to go 15 kilometers over the speed limit to get past them. Ella, it's insanity. I know. We got stopped at the traffic lights straight after, but I showed them. Woo! I was in front! when you're in a shopping centre and people will be walking four file, it's like this bloody giant seawall coming at you. Fuck them. I just pretend I'm on the rugby field, Shaz. What do you mean? I just run at them, interlock my arms and yell, SCRUM! <laughs> Did you just roll your eyes at me out loud, Ella? Now that's another thing. I didn't roll my eyes. I was searching the back of my brain for data. <laughs> you mean searching for a comeback, but finding the noggin bear. What? <laughs> well, if you find anything back there, let me know. Party's getting rough. Time to end it, girl. If you people want to see more of me, smash that subscribe button to let me know. And we may even get rid of her. Time to quit while you're ahead, girl. Well, someone's got to get this channel subs, you know. Cut it. By the way, you've had lipstick on your chin for ages, Sharon. <laughs>